The follow the story is not just my story. It's a generational story. Fatherlessness is quickly becoming the defining characteristic of American childhood. It's a story of, of rage and shame and wilting, of, a story of grief and loneliness, and a story of destruction. Over time, the unmet needs that we call father hunger can turn into something darker, something destructive. As you see the last words of the Old Testament, and you wonder why their strategic placement in the inerrant word of God is a prophecy about before the, great, before the end of time, before the great and dreadful day of the Lord, I will send you a prophet, the prophet Elijah. And what will he do? He will turn the hearts of the fathers toward their children and the hearts of the children toward their fathers. If this does not happen, he says, I will strike the land with a curse. Amazingly, this prophecy is the last prophetic utterance of all the silence before John the Baptist, who we know as the Elijah to come, came, came on the scene. Why would God put this before this pause? It's almost like a grand pause in an orchestra, and then the music gets really loud when Christ comes on the scene. But here's the prophecy that goes over and over again. I think the prophet, the prophet Malachi is warning us that when fathers are not reconciled with their children, the powers of destruction are beckoned. And I would like to say, can it be in our country that some of these things that we're seeing, that the 90 teenage pregnant girls in one high school in Memphis, that the gang killings in Los Angeles County of some 6,000 over a five-year period, dwarfing the war in Iraq, a senseless, silent war, can it be that the boys like DeAndre Thompson, who's arrested in Oklahoma City at 13, is one of America's invisible children? Can it be that some of this destruction is the truth of the prophet Malachi? That when fathers and children are not reconciled, when their relationship is broken, that the land suffers. Mm -hmm.